Hi I'm Sharon and welcome to my channel and to part 5 of my creative journaling series. Still on my square soft cover journals I wanted to make a couple of quick videos giving you a closer look at how I use them. The first thing I use them for is what I've come to call evidence journals and evidence one is where it all started. This one I made way back in 2019. The spine hasn't held up very well. I've learned how to make a much stronger spine since then but it showed me how much I loved this size and shape. It also showed me how where I've come from in my mixed media journey. In it I recorded process of artworks, I completed with photos as I went along, um, noted the techniques and the materials I used. It's become evidence that it's my work and it's great for future reference. I also did colour wheels using my favourite brands of paint, tried and noted techniques and ideas, that kind of thing different marks, different symbols that I wanted to use in my art, pattern, pa different ideas for pattern paper. I've pretty much continued to do these co same kinds of things throughout my evidence journals ever since and I'm up to number five now. Something I noticed about number one compared to the others and this may be of interest to you if you're just starting out is that it contains a lot more techniques, samples of techniques, different ways of decorating papers, material lists, that kind of thing. A lot more beginner type stuff. Because that's where I was at at the time. I was coming from a textile background, patchwork and applique and also scrapbooking and moving into more mixed media. My painting experience was with folk art and I wanted to learn to become freer and more abstract so I could move off the page or the box and up onto canvas. Another thing I do, which I didn't start until my evidence number two, was that I now leave the first page free to write a table of contents, an idea I got from bullet journaling. I go through and number all the pages and then I write an entry in under one of four or five sections that I found worked for me. project ideas, process, inspiration, experiments and techniques. Anyway, this has just been a short look at building an evidence journal. If this is something that interests you and you haven't already seen it, take a look at part four of this series, a tutorial for making one of these. I'll leave a link below. Thanks very much for watching and subscribing. I am absolutely thrilled to see so many new new subscribers and welcome, welcome to you. Lots more content planned, so keep an eye out. I also welcome your feedback. It really helps me to know if I'm on the right track for future content. So that's it for part five. Thanks again and bye for now.